I've spent a considerable amount of time this year continuing to remind LGBT voters, um, you know, to, to do their homework, to read the pieces of legislation, to read the laws that are coming out, um, and to keep things in context, because what I'm seeing is just an excuse for, um, you know, in this, I'm seeing it on the right as well. There's certain organizations that are getting off on the fact that they think they have a shot of overturning Obergefell as an attempt to raise money. And that's just not going to happen. And the same thing exists on the left with organizations who are ginning up massive amounts of angst to try to raise money. The presidents that we're setting in Florida uh, are being used as a platform for the uh, presidential campaign um, by Ron DeSantis. And he's basically canvassing the country um, based on religious and conservative viewpoints. And that is dangerous. Justice Thomas said in the ruling, and this is a quote, in future cases, we should reconsider all of this court's uh, substantive, substantive due process precedents, including Griswold, Lawrence, and Obergefell. Uh, that's what he wrote in, in overturning Roe. And so if that's not a clue to prepare, I don't know what is. We do know that if Obergefell falls, the majority of states will already have same-sex marriage bans in place that would immediately go into effect. And we do know that people are afraid. You know, on the administration side, it's just been very much, um, you know, small ministerial tweaks here and there, um, you know, redefinitions of words and different rules. Um, so have there broad been any kind of like broad scale um, movement on LGBT issues on the federal basis? Um, not necessarily, but I don't know if, if necessarily any of it's needed. Um, we're living in a time of, you know, the most equality that our communities have ever seen, um, not just governmentally, but also just socially. Um, those of us who, who live in intersection, like the, the people that we serve, um, went, you know, had four years of, of, of trauma, public trauma, um, uh, almost daily. Uh, some of the biggest being uh, these public lynchings of, of Black bodies. Um, and so I think it takes an incredible amount of gall and privilege to say um, in these times uh, that uh, equality has made great strides. You know, in this election, I think we're definitely seeing uh, the 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 inflation problems, energy security, supply chain problems, inflation, um, the, just the generic and general cost of living is just weighing higher and higher and higher on people's minds, and it's cutting across race, gender, sexual orientation, political persuasion. Um, religious backgrounds. So I, you know, it would be very inaccurate to say that, um, you know, quote, all LGBT voters are, are voting the same way or have the same value system. We're no different than everybody else. Um, that we we're facing other issues aside from the criminalization of medical practices, banning books, um, conversion therapy, and all these that, that affect our community firsthand.
um, we are dealing with tabletop issues, um, just like everybody else. Uh, our rents have almost doubled and the economy is not treating us re really nicely these days. 